Hi, today I'm going to discuss with you day six, day six of the Hacker's Toic vocabulary book, okay? And day six has a lot of uh, fun words, much, much more fun than uh, days one through five, which were more businessy words, okay? Now, uh, this video is going to have two parts. The first uh, is going to concentrate on pronunciation. Now, if you want a sheet of paper that can help you with this, um, you can get the piece of paper down from the description box, okay? So, um, that's going to be the first part. The second part is going to be a discussion, a discussion about the meaning of these words and how you can use them, okay? But if you wanted to skip to the second part, it'll probably start around the five minute, four and a half, five minute mark, okay? So um, here, please get this piece of paper. Now, let's pronounce these words, pronounce them properly. Be very careful with the v. There's lots of v sounds. As well, today's list has three or four uh, homographs, okay? So these are words that have two or three pronunciations. Same spelling, okay? But we'll have to be careful with these, okay? So, um, hmm, how best to look at this? Good. Number one. Ah, I like that better. Collection. Collection. Exhibition. Exhibition. Celebrity. Celebrity. Uh, live. Live. Not live, okay? Live. Improvise. Improvise. Popular. Popular. Donation. Donation. Alumni. Alumni. Present. Uh, present. Sorry. Present. So this book is going to talk about the word present, not present. Okay. Present. Present. Admission. Admission. Banquet. Banquet. Anniversary. Anniversary. Required. Required. Succeed. Succeed. Rest. Rest. Fundraising. Fundraising. And here, uh, this word is resume. Okay. Now, day one, word number one had resume, which is the same spelling, but here it's resume. Resume. Okay. Issue. Issue. Subscription, subscription, and appear, appear. Okay, keep going. Say these words loud, okay? Accompany, accompany, addition, addition, specifically, specifically, anonymous, anonymous, commit, commit, informative, Informative, okay, make sure F and the V, okay? Informative. Audience, audience. Author, author. Note, note. Antique, antique. Manuscript, manuscript. Beneficial, beneficial. Upcoming. Upcoming, lend, lend, current, current, local, local, variety, variety, advocate, okay? So this is going to be advocate and adv advocate, okay? There's two different words, advocate and advocate. Contributor, contributor and defy. Now, there's two more words on the back, okay? So, fascinating, fascinating, and showing. Showing. Okay. Uh, one more time, okay? Uh, now, real quick, say these with me. That's the important part, okay? Collection, exhibition, celebrity, live, improvise, popular, donation, alumni, present, admission, Banquet, anniversary, required, succeed, rest, fundraising, resume, resume, uh, issue, subscription, appear, accompany, addition, specifically, anonymous, commit, informative, audience, author, Note, antique, manuscript, 
beneficial, upcoming, lend, current, local, variety, advocate or advocate, contributor, defy. And on the back, fascinating and showing. Uh, okay, so let's discuss these. They're fun, okay? The first word is collection. Collection. So if you collect things, you have a collection. Okay? So if I go to 10 countries, 10 countries, and in every country I buy a hat, maybe the first hat will say Germany, and the second hat will say Italy, and I go to Mexico and I get a hat and all this kind of stuff, then I have a hat collection, a hat, a hat collection from other countries. Okay? There's also like a souvenir, souvenir. Um, but other people will collect money or coins, coins from their own country, or baseball cards. These are all a collection, a collection, okay? Um, some very, very rich people, some movie stars, they might have a sports car collection where they have a whole bunch of sports cars, okay? Um, now, if you collect something and it's from a certain place, like if I collect uh, art from China, okay, then we use the word from. So, you know, he collects art from China, usually with the word from, okay? Um, and then we'll say, oh, this painting is very collectible. Collectible, that's the adjective. Collectable, with an A-B-L-E at the end. Collectible, okay? And I'm a collector. Now, that collector has an O-R at the end, like doctor, okay? Not an E-R, like teacher. So, collector, collector, okay? Okay, number two is exhibition. Exhibition means something is being exhibited. The verb is exhibit, okay? So uh, maybe you'll go to a place and they'll have all sorts of Barbie dolls, okay? So they are exhibiting Barbie dolls. And then you say, Daryl, Daryl, do you want to go with me to the Barbie doll exhibition? And I will definitely say no. But this is the exhibition, the noun. Okay, and they exhibit the dolls. Exhibition. Celebrity. Celebrity is a, like the word star. Star. Okay, so a famous person. A famous person. Someone where um, most people will know their name. Okay, maybe it's a singing star or an acting star. We don't say a singing celebrity. Okay. Um, la, uh, sorry, this is live. Live, okay. So uh, this this is a homograph, and you can't say the word live. Like you say, Daryl lives in Canada, okay. But this one is going to be live. Here and it says live music. So maybe a bar where you go drink beer, they'll have a sign outside, and it'll say live music. It means not a machine making music or recorded music. It's really people with a guitar and drums up there playing music. This is live music. Um, you know, if you go to the zoo, uh, maybe there's uh, a tiger, and the tiger's living at the zoo, but it's also live, okay, is live. Um, but maybe the zoo, they'll have a picture of the, the, of a tiger. Maybe the zoo is not so good. And we'll say that's not, not alive, it's not living, okay? So just be careful. Live, live in a country, live, live, alive. So live here is an adjective. Okay. Improvise. Improvise. It's a form of acting, okay, um, or a form of music. And what it does means is that a lot of it is they're making it now. If you are acting to be or not to be, um, those words are written. I'm not making those words up, okay. But a lot of times, especially with funny, funny theater, funny acting, they will be improvising. And they will change the words depending on what they want. They're very creative people. Um, and in music, too, maybe they'll have a, a four-minute song. But today, they really like the song. So they make the song from four minutes to a ten-minute song. But they're improvising this. They're making it longer. Um, and it can be very exciting, okay? Jazz music. Jazz music is very famous for improvising, okay? Uh, improvising the music. Uh, popular, okay? Popular. It just means that lots of people like it. Um, when we say pop music star, pop music, this is what it comes from. The popular music means pop music, okay? Pop. So when we talk about K-pop or J-pop or something like that, it really means Korean 
popular music or Japanese popular music. Okay, um, popular. We can also say cell phones. Cell phones are very popular now. Very popular. Um, it just means many, many people like them and many people have them. Um, good. Donation. Donation. It means you're giving money. Um, sometimes it's time. Um, to people that need it and you're not getting money back okay so you can donate blood you can donate time uh, you can donate money um, so if you see homeless people people outside with no home and you think it's really really sad you can donate money to help them maybe the money will be used to put them in a hotel or something or you can donate your time and maybe cook food for them Okay, you can donate the food also. So this is all donations, okay? This is a blood donation or a time donation, donate, okay? Um, now, the person who does it is a donor, donor, um, D-O-N-O-R, just like collector, okay? So donor, collector, doctor, all O-R, O-R, okay? Alumni, alumni, it means that you went to a school and you finished it, and now you are that school's alumni. Now, if I went to Harvard, I didn't. Sorry, mom. <laughs> I didn't go to Harvard. Um, but if I did, if I did, I would be a Harvard alumni. Alumni, okay? Uh, President Obama is a Harvard alumni. Alumni, okay? I went to a different university. Good one, a good one, but not that one. So you can say, I'm an alumni. And alumni can also be an adjective, and they'll say, oh, we'll have an alumni party or alumni fundraising. We'll talk about the word fundraising later, okay? Um, and it's um, uh, the people who finished from that university. And if you go to alumni from your university, maybe there's people who finished your university 50 years ago or 60 years ago, and you can get to meet them. So it's kind of fun. Now, this is not present which means gift, like birthday present, okay? This is present, 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 okay? Present here means will be show, show. Uh, so, like, for example, if you want to go to a rock concert or a pop music concert, um, you can buy your ticket on your computer. And then on your computer, you like, okay, buy. And then you print it on your printer. And then you bring the piece of paper and you show them at the door. In maybe the ticket will say, please present this ticket at the door, okay? So it means you have to show something. It's like, here's my ticket, like that. And then you can go inside and watch the cool rock concert, okay? Now, um, here they've also got words presentation and presently. Um, they're quite different. A presentation is in front of your class or in, in front of your work uh, colleagues. So you'll have a presentation. So it means you will say, this, this is my homework. Hopefully it's better than that. Uh, but, you know, this is your presentation. And you'll stand up and you'll explain your homework. Okay, that's your presentation. Now, presently just means now. Okay, I'm presently talking to you on a sunny day. It's very beautiful outside. But it just means now, presently. Okay, it's a sunny day and I'm sitting here talking with you people. Okay, uh, it's okay, it's my job. Admission, admission, uh, admit, it means they let you come in, okay? Uh, I didn't apply to go to Harvard. If I did, they would not have admitted me, okay? My grades were good in high school, uh, but not, not so good for Harvard. So um, I would not be admitted, okay? So the admission department at the university, Harvard University, would have looked at my application and then they'll be like, uh, no, not for Harvard. And then goodbye. Their mistake. It would have been their mistake, I'm sure. So, but anyways, this is an admission. Admission, okay? So it means you're allowed to come in, okay? Uh, banquet. Banquet is similar to the word feast. Feast, a big, huge meal, okay? So in my family, we will have like a big banquet uh, for Christmas, for Christmas, or maybe even Thanksgiving as well. Um, uh, just a huge, huge meal. Now, a banquet can also be like a business banquet. We don't usually use the word feast for that. Um, so maybe at Christmas time, the office will all go to a banquet. Or a restaurant will have one huge room, and they'll call it the banquet hall. The banquet hall. Okay. Anniversary. 
anniversary. Okay, um, if you can speak French or Spanish or other European languages, not English, um, you will know that A-N-N -N means year, one year, two years, like I'm I'm 30 something years old, okay? Um, A-N-N -N means year, okay? That can help you with this word. Anniversary, it's kind of similar to birthday, but it's going to be like when something started. So like if McDonald's, if McDonald's started, I don't know when McDonald's started, but if McDonald's started on like uh, June 15th, 1956, okay? So on June 15th, 2016, they will have their 60 year anniversary, okay? Um, it's like 60 years later, 60 years later. Um, so that's McDonald's anniversary. But if you're married, if you're married, like um, maybe I got married on July 15th. I don't know why 15 today. Um, then every July 15th, my wife and I will have an anniversary. Okay. So it's like one year later, one year later. So it's not the same as birthday because there's no birth, but it's a similar idea where something happens one year later. So an important event. Okay. Uh, required. It's the same as the word needed, needed, okay? So um, maybe some toy, we'll say batteries required. It means you need batteries. Things don't work without it, okay? Um, if you come study at my school, I'll say to you, oh, pencils and erasers are required, nothing else, okay? So if you don't have pencils and you don't have paper, it's difficult to have class. Actually, I will I will give you some, but but you should bring your own, okay? But so I might say to you at the first class, pencil and eraser are required. That's all. Okay, please bring your pencil and eraser. <laughs> uh, I, students always take my pencils and erasers. Uh, succeed, succeed uh, means that you have success, that you did what you want to do. Okay, so if you take the TOEIC test and then you say, oh, I want blah 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 blah. Okay. If you get that score, if you get that score, then you succeeded, okay? You you did what you wanted to do, okay? So um, maybe if I run a marathon and I say, oh, I want to run this marathon in four hours. And if you do it, like three hours, 50 minutes, you succeeded, succeeded. If you run the marathon, but not so fast, and it's like five hours, then you didn't succeed and you should try again. Hopefully, okay. Uh, rest. Rest, okay. Uh, rest can be a verb and it can be a noun, okay. Uh, it can mean, um, you know, like we need to take a rest. Um, this is only word 15. If we'd finish word 20, I would suggest having a rest, okay, but not yet, okay. Uh, so we, we say, take a rest. It's a noun, okay. Or you say, we rested on the park bench. That's a verb. Now, uh, rest does have another meaning. Um, it can mean like the leftover part, the leftover part, the part that's not used. Okay. Here it, it talks about the word remainder. Okay. When we say the rest, for example, if there's a pizza and there's eight pieces and you, you eat three and you say Daryl ate the rest. It means I ate the rest. I ate five. My math is not so good, but you can do the math, okay? The math would be the, the, the remaining part, the remaining part, okay? Uh, fundraising. I teach English for a reason, not math. Fundraising. Fundraising. Fundraising means um, you're trying to raise money, okay? The fund here will mean a collection of money that you use to do something, to do something, okay? So uh, a university maybe says, we need a new building, we need a new building. And so then they will have some fundraising. It means that they will try to get some more money to, to have enough to make the building, okay? So maybe they'll have a party or maybe they'll phone alumni and they'll say, alumni, we need a new building. Our old building is too bad. And then the alumni will maybe give money, okay? So if Bill Gates is part of your school's alumni, Maybe you'll get that money, okay? Um, yeah, but this is all fundraising. But it doesn't need to be a university. Even um, little kids, little kids, maybe um, middle school students, they say, oh, we want to go to Japan, go to Japan for summer summer vacation. So they will have fundraising, 
and they'll try to make the money so that they can go to Japan. You know, maybe ask their uncle and their aunt and their grandfather, please, please buy my calendar, please buy my chocolate bar. This is also called fundraising. It's a very popular thing in Canada. Uh, resume means continue, okay? If you need to go to the bathroom right now, you can press stop, go to the bathroom, come back, and then press play. And the video will resume, resume, okay? It means continue. So something is going, 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 stop. And then it will resume at a later date, okay? So maybe your teacher, your teacher's working through a math book, okay? And then they say, they say, uh, okay, today is finished. Our time is finished. It's time to go home. We will resume at the same place tomorrow. It means we'll start here again, okay? Start where we finished. Issue, issue, issue can have a couple meanings. Okay, so I think before we said, what's the matter? Um, that matter is the same meaning as the word issue. What's the problem here? What's the what's causing the, the issue? Um, but issue has a second meaning. We'll, we're talking about magazines and newspapers. Um, some magazines will come out once a month and we'll say, oh, this one, this magazine here um, is June's issue. It's from the month of June, okay? So, um, yeah, so it's just kind of like that month's version of the magazine. That's this, their issue, okay? Uh, subscription. Subscription. Subscription means that you pay money to get the magazine for a long time, okay? Um, and then they will all come, and you will not miss any. So if, even if you go on vacation to Hawaii, um, the magazine or the newspaper will still come to your door. So you can get a, a newspaper magazine maybe for one year. Um, and it will come every day or you get a, a magazine subscription and it will come once a month or once a week or something like that So I've had subscriptions to sports magazines to business magazines um, These are all different subscriptions. Okay, so if you have a subscription that means you subscribe Subscribe to the magazine now script here s s c r i p uh, or sometimes with a T, or S-C-R-I-B, it's going to mean to write, okay? So we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later um, in a subsequent time, okay? Um, so this is subscription. So just remember, S-C, script or scribe will mean to write, okay? Appear, it means showed up, showed up, you know? Uh, if I have a birthday party and I want Tom Cruise to come, I will send him an email. Now, I don't know his email address, but I'll try. I'll try. I don't think he's going to come, but maybe I'm having my party, a Manila party, and oh, Tom Cruise appeared. It means he came. Okay. Now, the opposite would be disappear. So, look, I have this pen. This pen, watch. The pen disappeared. Okay. You saw it, but now it's gone. It disappeared. Okay. So, the opposite is appear. Here's the pen. Okay, that the pen appeared. A company, it means go with. Okay, so um, if you are my friend and you are from a far away country and you come visit me, that's great. And then I take you to the museum. We say, I, uh, I will accompany you to the museum. And I'll accompany you to the beach. And I'll accompany, accompany you to the mountains. And um, when it's all finished, I will accompany you to the airport. It means go with you, okay? So keep you company. You can also just say keep you company, okay? So accompany you. Addition, addition. Um, just like before we said issue, we'll say this is the June issue of the business magazine. We'll say this is the June edition. It means the same, okay? Specifically, specifically. Um, um, specifically means that you're being specific. So if I say, oh, I like all countries in Asia, specifically India, it'll mean like especially India. It means that more than all the rest, okay? Or if I say, I eat a lot of fruit, specifically apples, it means I eat a lot of fruit, but still 50% of that fruit will be apples. So it means like even more, even more, okay? 
Um, no, sp specify, to specify means to make clear. And so specifically can also have that meaning as well. So we say the contract, the contract says I should have candy, candy every single day, but not the blue candy. I don't want any blue candy. Red candy, great. Orange candy, great. Yellow candy, great. Purple candy, great. But there's one color I don't want. This is a, my contract specifically talks about this, okay? Uh, yeah, specifically. Anonymous. It means we don't know. We don't know who did it. So, um, you know, maybe there's a, a, a book. It's written. And the author doesn't want you to know his name, his or her name. So they'll, they'll, they'll just say nobody. And you'll say, oh, this was anonymous. Or maybe you have a bad habit. You have a bad habit. Every day uh, in the morning, early, early morning, you go to your car and you play music really, really loud. And all your neighbors wake up and they're angry with you. And so they'll put a note on your car and they'll say, don't do this anymore. The note maybe has no names. Okay? It's just some neighbor did it. And the note is anonymous. Okay? No name. No name. The, the uh, uh, it must, this part here, you'll, you'll know that there's some words, it means name, okay? Uh, eponymous, anonymous. These words have to do with names. Names. Okay? The word commit. The word commit is a weird one. Um, it can have a negative meaning. Like if someone kills me, they're angry with my test, and they get a big knife and they kill Teacher Daryl, um, they commit murder. Okay, um, So we commit murder. Or um, if I jump off a bridge, um, that's we say committing suicide. Okay, very serious. In, in this sense, the word commit means the word do, but it's always a very negative do. Okay, if I go to your store and I steal things, okay, we say I committed theft. So it's a very it's a very negative do do. Okay, um, the word commit here we use it in, in almost an opposite meaning. Okay, it's used more as an as an adjective. Say so the store is committed to providing excellent service. It just means the store promises to have that. So it's really, really a different meaning, okay? So be careful with this word commit. It has other meanings too. Um, committed, you commit somebody to a hospital. If they're going crazy, we say, oh, they committed them to a hospital. Or if your old, old grandpa can't look after themselves, we will commit them to a senior's home, okay? It means to a home for old people. And they don't want to go. Um, but you commit them to them. So the word commit has lots of meanings that you have to be careful with. This meaning, commit, is more kind of like we promise to do it. Okay? If you're always late at work and then the boss is angry with you and you're like, don't, don't fire me, don't fire me. And they say, I'm committed to changing my habit. It means like I'm going to work hard to, to change my habit. Okay? So the word commit has a couple meanings. It's a hard, strange word. I've had lots of students with problems with this word. Informative means that uh, you get a lot of information from it. Okay, I'm hoping this video is informative. They can get lots of good information from it. Informed here, you say he is very informed or she is very informed. It means that um, they know a lot. They know a lot of information. Okay. Um, the verb inform uh, is just means tell. Okay, I want to inform you that English is hard, but you probably know that. Good. Audience. Audience means the people who are watching or the people who are listening. Okay. Odd, A-U-D, actually means to hear. So the most important thing about audience is listening. But you are also my audience. Okay. You are watching this video. And so it has to do with watching as well. Okay. So um, if I'm singing for you live, I'm here and you're over here on the chairs. Uh, and my song is really good. Maybe you will clap. And then I can go home and I can say, oh, the audience, the audience liked me. They clapped. Yes, okay. So this is the audience. But if, there's, if you're just watching a movie, you're the audience as well. Okay. Author, the people, who, the person, uh, the, the lady or the man who wrote the book. Okay. So J.K. Rowling's. J.K. Rowling's is the author of the Harry Potter books. Okay. Uh, yeah, author. Note. Note, please note. 
please note, it says here, please note, it just means like, please notice, okay? But a note, a note can also be the note on my car, okay? Because I'm playing loud music in the morning. Um, this is also a note that they give to me, okay? Uh, maybe I'll write a note to my wife. I, uh, I know my wife will come home at five o'clock, but I'm gonna go jogging for one hour. And so I'll write a note and I'll say, oh, I'm in the park, I'm jogging, like this. And then she'll read it and then she'll know what's happening. Okay, there's a note. Antique. Antique can be, um, in some cases, means old. You say, my car is an antique. It means an old car, okay? There's antique stores where you can go, go and buy old tables, old chairs, old lights, old mirrors, that kind of stuff, okay? These are all antiques, antiques. Manuscript. Now here again, the S-C-R-I-P-T, the manuscript, okay? Uh, manuscript is the what... Oh, sorry, S-C-R-I-P-T. The script or scribe means to write. That's right, okay? A manuscript is um, a book that someone will write and it's going to be a movie or it's going to be a play, okay? So the author will write the manuscript and then maybe they'll take pages out and rip pages out because they don't like it and then they'll start again and they'll cross it out and erase it a lot. And then when they're done, they'll show the publisher or maybe they'll show their friends the manuscript, okay? This is like the, the, the final version of their play or their movie, okay? So just remember, manuscript and subscription, okay? So these words, um, the script part means to write, writing things, some words or something like that. Beneficial means it's good. Beneficial. You say, oh, this food is very beneficial for your health. It means it'll make you healthier, okay? Uh, benefit means make better, okay? Benefit. So say, this will benefit you, okay? It will make you feel better. Um, and benefit also has another meaning where it's a party, okay? But it's a party to make money, like a fundraising party, okay? So if your neighbor, if your neighbor breaks their leg and can't work, and now they're going to lose their house, and it's so sad, and you don't want them to lose your house because they're a good neighbor. Um, maybe you will have a party and you say, okay, everyone who comes to the party has to give $25. And then you take all of that money and you give it to your neighbor. That party has a special name. It's called a benefit. A benefit, okay? So we'll say a benefit for the neighbor. A benefit for something like this. Um, if you hear about people in Africa or anywhere in the world, who are hungry and they don't have food, will say, a benefit for Africa, or a benefit for the hungry people, like this, okay? So it's a party as well. Upcoming means in the future. Usually not a very far future, maybe next week or next month, okay? So upcoming. Uh, good, lend. Be careful with the word lend, okay? Um, it's kind of opposite to the word borrow, but people get this wrong a lot, okay? So if you need my stapler, you need a stapler, you're like, Daryl, Daryl, can I borrow your stapler? And I'm saying, sure, dun, 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 like this. When this is happening, you are borrowing the stapler. I am lending the stapler, okay? So um, there's, you know, it's a little bit similar to the word give, and receive, okay? So if I give you some water, I'm giving it, you are receiving it, okay? The borrower, the borrower is receiving things, okay? The lending person is giving things. Now, here's your test on this, okay? What's happening at the library? Okay, who's borrowing and who's lending? Okay? If you say that the library is lending the books, you're correct, okay? The people are borrowing the books, okay? So just be clear on borrow and lend, borrow and lend, okay? Current, current means now. So it says current subscribers to the magazine. It means people right now who have a subscription, okay? So if we say this magazine currently has one million subscribers, it means one million people have a subscription, okay? Local. Local means this area, close to you, close to you, okay? Um, not far. So you say, oh, this building has a store very local. 
It means you can walk there. Okay, so it's very close to you. Uh, local school, local police station, that kind of stuff. Variety means there's a mix. Okay, so um, uh, if you go to a store with magazines and they have a business magazine, a sports magazine, a music magazine, a traveling magazine, a car magazine, these are these will be we'll say they have a variety of magazines. Okay. If you go to a shoe store, you hope they have a variety of shoes. Okay, um, so you can have more and more choices. Okay, everyone likes to have a variety. And here it says arrange, arrange. It means the same. A range of choices, a variety of choices. Okay. Okay. Now um, here, this word here as a noun will be an advocate. An advocate. This means it's someone who's pushing something. Okay. So if I really, really want to help um, hungry people, then maybe I have some fundraisers for them, some benefits for them, okay? And you'll say, I'm an advocate for ending hunger, ending hunger, that kind of stuff, okay? Um, so you're an advocate, an advocate. What are you doing? The verb, you're advocating, advocate, okay? Advocate person, advocate is what the advocate is doing. Okay. Contributor, another O-R word, contributor, someone who contributes, okay? someone who uh, gives to something. Okay? So if the university is having a, a benefit, a fundraising benefit with alumni, okay, and I go to the party, but I'm like, oh, this is a bad idea, then I'm not contributing. But my friend... My friend has lots of money, and he gives him one million dollars, okay? Um, he is a big contributor, contributor. He's giving money to the, to the university um, so that they can do it, okay? So he's a contributor. Um, but we also talk about contributors in terms of magazines as well, magazines and newspapers. Um, so if you write and the, the magazine puts it in their magazine, your story, then you are a contributor. Okay. You're not giving money, but you're giving your story. Okay. Um, good. Defy. Defy means that you don't listen to people. So if your mom or dad says, go to bed, and you're like, uh-uh, and you read a book with a flashlight in the dark, like I used to, <laughs> you are defying your parents. Okay. Um, if your teacher says no gum in class, but you secretly, and when they look at you, you're like, and then they look this way, and you're like, this. you're defying your teacher, okay? Fascinating. It's very interesting. Uh, something that you love, okay? So uh, for me, English is fascinating. For you, maybe not so much. Um, but I like uh, TV shows about animals. I think they're very fascinating, okay? And you say, they fascinate me. And then showing, showing. Um, we'll say, oh, this movie, movie theater is showing the new Tom Cruise movie, okay? It means it's showing to people, okay? Um, people can come and sit in the audience. Okay, okay this video is, again, long. Uh, I hope it helped. If you need any help, you can please comment below, okay? And I will do my best to help you. Uh, if you're not clear on anything I talked about. Take care. Bye-bye.